In this video, I'll show you how you can only allow your learners to retake the entire course instead of just retaking the quiz. Okay, so my feeling is that retaking a quiz after you've failed to successfully pass it really doesn't do anything other than allow you to make a bunch of additional guesses at what those right answers would be. My thinking is that if you failed to, uh, to pass that quiz the first time, you probably missed something during the content of the course. I should probably go back and review that. So my preference would be to, rather than retake the quiz, use that opportunity to retake the entire course. Now, this has been a problem because, of course, that functionality is just not built in to Adobe Captivate. But I've discovered a simple line of JavaScript and some additional commands that you can add to your own advanced action that will allow you to do just that. Okay, so normally if you want to show a retake button, you just need to either increase the number of attempts that the learner is allowed to take with your quiz, or of course, uh, you can also set it up for infinite attempts and then simply check show retake button. And that's going to add a retake button to your quiz results slide. So let me reorganize these a little bit here and we'll put that say right in the middle there. And we'll put this one right here. So the problem with a retake quiz button is that you there's really, as you can see, when I select it and look over at my properties inspector, other than uh, changing the caption, there's very little that I can do with it. There's no uh, uses button and therefore an actions tab where it's running a particular action. This is something that's baked right into Adobe Captivate. Now, there is an opportunity to take advantage of one little tiny line of JavaScript to create your own retake quiz button and have it jump back instead of to the first quiz question, which is the default nature of Adobe Captivate. But you can actually take it back to any slide that you wish through a short little advanced action, a game that uses that JavaScript uh, line of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my retake quiz button just outside into the scrap area here. And I'm just going to add my own button in the middle. In this case, I'm just using a smart shape and I'm picking the same colors that are in my button here. And we'll just call this retake. And in this case, I'm not going to retake the quiz, but retake the course. So what I can do in this case is use as a button, go to the Actions tab, but I'm going to Execute Advanced Actions, and we're going to write a short little Advanced action script that takes care of this for us. So we're going to call this Retake Quiz. And the first thing we need to do is we need to reset the quiz so that people can answer those questions again. So I'm going to execute JavaScript. We're going to open up our script window and I'm going to type in cp.resetquizdata followed by opening and closing parentheses. That's it. That's all you need to do. Click OK. Make sure you're pointing at the current window and not somewhere else. And the last thing is very simple advanced action. We're just going to jump to slide and it can literally be whatever slide you wish. I'm going to take them right back to the beginning here. So we'll go ahead with slide one, save that as an action, click OK and click close. Let's preview this now and make sure it works. So here we go. We're starting off with slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, and now we're into our quiz. So I'm going to purposefully fail this quiz. So I have, of course, the message, sorry, you failed. And I'm going to 
retake the course now. And as you can see, it brings us right back to slide one. And now I can gain the knowledge that I missed the first time around. Of course, once you've published your project, don't forget you can send it out to your stakeholders and subject matter experts using Review My eLearning. You can capture feedback from multiple reviewers and see it all in the same place. Reviewers can even see each other's comments and you know exactly what slide in your course that feedback is for. Try out Review My eLearning for free by using the link in the description of this video so they know I sent you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.